If you find that your project requires more specific jaws, there's a range available that will fit these chucks. Let's have a look at them now. If you're looking to work on smaller pieces of timber, such as this one here, which is only about 12 millimetres by 12 millimetres, you can use some of these jaws which will close down quite significantly and be able to grip onto those small, thin pieces of wood. Alternatively, you can use these jaws in expansion mode if you want to grip onto the inside of a very small recess. These jaws will close down to just under 30 millimetres, which means that you can work on small, delicate pieces of work. Alternatively, you can use some of these jaws where on the inside, in contraction mode, they'll close down to next to nothing. Or in expansion mode, you can take an item such as this container where I need to finish the base, fit that into the, the chuck or onto the chuck, open the chuck into expansion mode, and now I'm able to work on the bottom without any interference from any other supporting mechanism. If you're working on a piece of wood that is quite substantial in size, you need a fair bit more grip. So these jaws here will do the trick, where again you've got a dovetail on the outside edge and a dovetail on the inside edge, so they'll really grip onto your wood. And in expansion mode, they'll go from 110 millimeters to 165 millimeters, and in contraction mode, they'll go 94 millimeters to 141 millimeters. If you were turning something like a vase and you needed a fair bit more grip on your wood, you could use these super grip jaws, which give you an extra amount of capacity in the jaws. And again, there's a slight uh, dovetail in this area here, as there is on the outside. And you can turn a tenon of about 35 millimeters, so that, that jaw can then grip onto that whole area of timber and give you extra support. One of the jaws that I like to use and I find is very practical is this set of Coles jaws where you have these little rubber stoppers that you can adjust to different positions and you can either hold the outside of a finished bowl or you can hold onto the inside of a finished bowl so you can then finish off the base or the foot of the bowl. In this particular case, imagine that I've completed the inside of this and I'm ready to now remove the stub at the bottom. All I do is position the wood inside my jaws, open them far enough to be able to grip the inside, the outside of the bowl, tighten the jaws just enough to grip the wood firmly but not dint the outer edge and I can now put this onto the lathe and finish off this little base here and complete the underside of the bowl. When you're looking to buy a new chuck and possibly an extra set of jaws to do your work with, do your homework. Have a look at the range of travel that you get with a Belladonia chuck. Have a look at how the various chuck jaws overlap and you might find that you can get two sets of jaws that will do the job that maybe three will do in other cases. The beauty of the Belladonia chucks is that with two sets of jaws you can get a range of travel in expansion and compression mode that would in some cases take three sets of jaws maybe with another brand. Belladonia jaws and chucks are available exclusively from Timbercon, either in Perth or here in Melbourne in Coburg, or online at timbercon.com.au. These jaws don't have enough travel, so... <laughs> I've got bloody flying! <laughs> <laughs>